so if you're drawing your trend line down and it, it goes it's keep making lower lows that's right would you do the same thing there and and Absolutely. you know buy calls and puts and just play it all the way up and down well unless it breaks that trend line no it's yeah it's still a put see it right that's what i'm saying but i mean yeah you're talking i've about been playing the up and down yeah you can but it's it's more dangerous right right okay because so it's, it's better just to look at it as a put correct because here's the thing every time let me show you so this is your put here's your call there's your put there's your call do you see which one's longer so gotcha. every, time, every time you're going against the grain on a call you are waiting for this to knife drop right on your face because look at look at also look at the red candles versus the green see them every time you are trying to make a call against it. Your, your possibilities increase every time you try to touch a call, okay? Of getting your face ripped off. So the best thing to do is don't do that. See how this is pulling really hard now? Right. Yeah, every time you're like, oh, well, this could be the move to the upside. No, dude, every time you go against the grain, you are really pushing the boundaries of the pride lands. <laughs> right here so apple just so you guys know wants to come down to 189.52 at 189.52 one of two things is going to possibly happen and we're going to then get our pull down to this 188.74 which by the way will be down back to where i said this can go back down or it should if it touches here and starts a reversal but you'll see the whole market will shift by the way you'll see the whole market will start to make a move. Like the volume will all come back in here. If it does, 189.52 would be the bounce. This is now support. This is a hard level of support right here, okay? Which means if it cannot support this range, you're gonna get a hard pull back to the next level and now you're in this channel and it's trying to go back farther. Does that make sense? Same drill. This wants to come back to 272.68. It's touched it twice since I've said it right here. This is the move. This will either hard bounce off of 272.68 and make a full recovery to VWAP, or it's going to make lower lows and it's going to pull super hard below it. Does that make sense? That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yep. So we don't touch it in this range because if we touch it anywhere right now, you are at the biggest risk you can be because at any moment in this little area, it can go boom or it can knife drop, break all the way through this thing and it's gone. And odds are which way most likely does this want to go, everybody? Down because of the trend. That's right. That's right. So okay. if I'm like, so so if I'm like, oh, I'm gonna buy a call here and it's gonna fully reverse, and it, dude, you are just asking to get your account destroyed. Now there's your confirmation. Make sure it stays down there in your gold. And what was the other one you wanted me to look at? Nvidia. Yeah, Nvidia. And I'm just wondering if it's unwise to look at like the two minute EWO candles and try and guess the top there and and buy puts on the way down. Or is that a good move or or is it unwise? Well, well okay. Here's the thing. If you're talking about the two minute EWO, you're on your second two minute EWO now, right? Right. Which now you're in puts, right? Correct. And if it goes, if it stays above VWAP, should you be in a put? No, you should not. There you go. So that'll be an easy one for you to determine right away if it's going to go against you or not, right? Right. So your risk is about this big for the reward all the way back down to 429.24. But yes, because the overall trend is to the upside, if you are trying to get into a put, isn't that against the grain? That's against yeah. the grain. That is correct. So would that even be wise for me to try it? Probably not. Mm -hmm. Could you do it? Sure. It's up to you. But the good thing with doing it now is, the risk is so low because you know if it stays above VWAP, get out. You don't need to wait 10, 20, 30, 40%. It could be 6%. And you're like, it's not dropping below VWAP. I can get out. So your risk is small because you're trading around VWAP. Does that make sense? 
That makes sense. Yep. So we just got to kind of, it always comes down to that risk reward, always position size. If you're in small, you know, you're okay because it's not going to hurt you anyways, even if it doesn't make the move you wanted, because guess what? The beauty of Nvidia is in a minute, if this stays up here, this is going to change color and you already know to get out. And then, then it will probably reverse and turn into a two minute EW to the upside. If it stays above VWAP and then what are you going to do long it, which is the way it wanted to go anyways. Right? 